Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's the Velvet Elvis on An Idiot's Liquor. So, with the quest for 100 cocktails during 2020, it only makes sense for me to include something that has Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey in it. The actual whiskey itself goes way, way back. The way, 1904, they have had seven gold medals. So they've been around since the 1800s. You know what? It's an iconic brand. A lot of people are interested in it. A lot of people like Elvis, too. So why not make a drink like this? This particular drink, you're going to find it cool, good, if you're a fan of Jack and Cokes, but you're tired of Coke and you want to try something a little different, or if you're a fan of 7 and 7s, uh, of course, that would be Seagram 7 and 7-Up, seven I think you'll enjoy this one as well. So it's a sweeter flavor profile, definitely something that, you know, you're not going to get tons of whiskey flavor in it. So if you're one of those people that thinks that whiskey should only be mixed with an ice cube, if even that, then this drink's not for you. Then again, maybe the channel's not for you. It's about mixing drinks, guys. Anywho, here's what you're going to need for this particular drink. You need a bottle of Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. You're going to need some Chambord. This is a black raspberry liqueur. You're going to need a fresh lime and a can of 7-Up Sprite, something along those lines. That's what you need. We're going to take all this stuff and turn it into a really awesome drink. We're also going to need a shaking tin. One of these days I'm going to throw that on the ground. And it's really simplistic, kind of a 3 to 1 ratio for things. Um, we're going to start with the Jack Daniels. Starting with that, it's going to be an ounce and a half of our Jack Daniels whiskey. Very close to running out of this. In fact, this is probably the last drink I'll be able to make with it. Liquor store run. Chambord is the next ingredient. And that's going to be one ounce of our Chambord. This can be a very powerful liqueur, uh, the flavor in it. So definitely don't go over an ounce on it. The next step here, we are going to take our lime. And it's a two-step process, guys. Two steps. We're going to cut this lime in half. But I also want to take a small chunk of one of the halves and make a little lime wheel. Guess what we're going to garnish this cocktail with? Alright, so we have that. We have our lime. And we're just going to juice this lime into our shaker tin. It's going to be a half an ounce of lime juice. I should be able to get a half an ounce out of what I have here. Usually I get an ounce. Sometimes I'll get three quarters. It just depends on the lime. Looks like I'm going to get just enough so I got that half ounce of lime juice going into the shaker tin. Right, the next step is going to be to take some ice and give it a real nice shake. Good. Shake this up real good. And we're going to need a raw a, a rocks glass. A rocks glass. This is going to get a couple nice cubes of ice. I just hand cut all this ice. So I hope you appreciate the fruits of my labor. Yeah. Three nice little cubes ought to do the trick. I'm going to strain this. 
strain this off and that's going to fill it most of the way. And that's where the 7-Up comes in. We're going to crack the top on the 7-Up, fill it the rest of the way. If you want to give it a little bit of a stir, you can. I personally don't feel like you need to. I think it's fine just the way it is. And remember, lime wheel garnish. That is the Velvet Elvis cocktail. You get a slight whiskey smell out of it. Very much easy on the nose though. It's good. Really good. You get that fruitiness, the hint of whiskey in there. Good stuff. You know, I think there's enough in there for another drink. Oh yeah. Every last drop. It goes down smooth. It's pretty balanced. It's not too tart. And you still get a little bit of that whiskey. Does it have to be Jack Daniels? I suppose not. But every recipe I've ever seen for this calls specifically for it. And it does go really well in there, so why wouldn't you use it? But that is the Velvet Elvis. And, you know, too many of those and you'll be doing the Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> no? Nothing? Anywho, this is the Velvet Elvis. If you like this cocktail recipe and you want to see even more of what I'm putting out, click on that subscribe button down below, the bell icon, that way you don't miss anything. Like I said, I'm going for 100 cocktails this year in 2020, the 100th anniversary of Prohibition. We are putting it down. And uh, if you want to be part of the journey, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers.